Okay guys, today I'm going to show you my Samsung Galaxy S3. It's running Leak Jelly Bean. And I want to show you the, the previous leak I was using before. I installed a new leak. So I just want to show you. This was the, the leak I used before. I'll show you. And that's the based on the Bell version, VLAALI3. And that's the date it was built for Jelly Bean from Team Insomniac. They ported it over to a ROM to make it easier to install, but it's still a little stock. Um, I had like a, like a lot of bugs with this ROM in terms of freezing, glitching, and whatnot. So I went and tried uh, a different ROM. Which is this one. It's based on the T-Mobile leak, not the Bell leaked. And it's 10 times more stable than the Bell leak. And he's added all these changes in the change log. It's and it fixes many things that the Bell version hasn't fixed. And I'm just going to show it to you what I have. And then right here, here's my phone down here. I'm going to show it to you. I have it on the Samsung dock right now, just to show you. I'm going to take it off the dock. I just want to show you. When you first get the phone, it's got the five icons at the bottom, the five dock on the home screen. I'm trying to show you how it sits on the dock. I want to test the quadrant on it, show you the browser speed. I do get LTE in this area. I'm just going to focus here, just give me a sec. So as you can see, the dock comes with the calendar, the weather, four dock icons, uh, sound on and off, and that's to get into the, the phone. That's TouchWiz right there as you saw. I'm just going to show you the quick in settings here. So you got home screen mode, you can switch if you want basic or easy mode. Easy mode like if you want contacts, I'll show it to you quickly. Like if you want contacts on the home screen, it's just an easier way to do it. I don't need that. Uh, blocking mode if you want to block certain things like disable incoming calls and all that notification stuff. Now you got your power saving mode, which is standard. Mobile Live Contacts, that's uh, a T-Mobile thing, I believe. And this is the boat phone. This is what I'm running. It's a Milestone 1.1 is what I'm using there. I'm going to run the Quadrant, but I'm going to show you what I have turned on in Developer Options because you might see a slightly better score. All I have turned on is Force 2D GPU Rendering. Just to show. I'm going to show you for the mobile network. I'm on uh, the Bell network. I'm on LTE. I'm in Canada, this is the i747 model. Um, you don't see LTE on the top, it will only say 4G for some reason, but I do get the speeds. And here in network mode, you can change it to any network you want. But right now I have it set to GSM, WCDMA, and LTE.
and it auto does your APN settings for this ROM. Okay, I'm going to show you quickly. I'm just going to clear the RAM memory. So I got 500, 504 megabytes out of 1.60 gigs. I'm going to do the speed test first here and then I'll just show you the quadrant just to be fair. Actually, I clicked the wrong one, sorry. To show you my download speeds, I do get LTE right where the phone is right now. But sometimes this uh, this network is a little iffy, so. I don't think it's, I'm just going to restart the phone just to make sure I'm getting the proper connection. Yeah, 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 I don't care. I'm going to run a fresh network. It will refresh my network here instead of restarting the phone. This will just take a sec. See how it reset my network up there? Give it a sec, I think it might go back to 4G. If not, I will check in a minute. There it is, 4G. My buddy's asking me about this ROM, if you have to install a different kind of kernel on it, and no you do not. So I want to see if the speed test is any different this time. Not really, but I got to do the kernel fix for it. It's where you clear the cache, clear the Delvic, and fix permission and then I should be okay. I did have it last night. I didn't know if I was in the LTE area, but I was getting about 30 megs per second. And I'm gonna just run the full benchmark on Quadrant to show you guys.
we're gonna go yes and there's my score it comes out 6,016 I'm gonna show it to you very quick let's go here let's focus 6,016 and here's my CPU scores They're very hard to see with this little, how bright it is. So I get a total of 6,016. Oh fuck, I knew that was gonna happen, okay. The memory 1145, IO 6127, 2D 1006, and 3D 2077. Yeah, thanks for watching.